This is Heather Carter from Carter Fine Arts Services, and I'm thrilled to partner with Mary Z again and co-curate this wonderful show, The Place Called Home. The concept and meaning of home is a very timely topic. For many, it is a place of comfort, peace, and happiness and security. For others, it's the polar opposite, a place of threat, danger, and insecurity. The juxtaposition of these contrasting meanings and so many interpretations with various mediums used is what makes this show so very special. My name is Judith Carlin, and I live in Miami, Florida. Home to me means having a safe place to live. It means you don't have to worry about somebody coming in the middle of the night and taking you away and doing horrible things to you. And you don't have to worry about where your next meal is coming from, and there are people that care about you. In my painting, Save, we see a small refugee girl in an inner tube in the open sea, and she's very distressed. She, Her lips are pale. She looks at risk for dying, but there's a hand that has grabbed hers and is pulling her to safety. This painting shows the extremes parents will go to to get their children to safety, to get them to a new place that they can call home. My name is Paula Weiner, and I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And when I think about a place called home, I feel like I'm a turtle. I have lived in many different locations throughout my life, which has been great because that has allowed me to absorb different cultures, different ideas, and different experiences. And I like to, like a turtle, take that with me on my back and in my soul. Really, the place you call home is your vessel, is you. My name is Tila Banker, and I live in Woodcliffe Lake, New Jersey. Home is family. And um, so my piece is a key which I think unlocks the door to both my home and my history. And on it, you'll see um, screen photographs of... My great great grandparents and my grandmother, and um, the key has just always been a symbol to me that I find fascinating. It unlocks things, and I think that we have a lot of homes if we unlock them and find them. Now, this is a hand built ceramic piece, um, I do it with slabs and coils, and um, it's it's not glazed in shiny glaze. It has slips and oxides. And the technique that you see, I've used um, actually decals, um, screen printing, um, and sgraffito, which is scratching through a surface. So that's, that's what it's made out of. Clay, slips, and oxides. My name is Stephen Adubato, and I live in Belleville, New Jersey. What home means to me is um, a place where you feel comfortable, safe, like a retreat, someplace where you could let your hair down, where you could be yourself, basically. My art reflects this in a way that, especially the picture Sunday Best, the family standing in front of the ramshackled cabin, fully dressed, and obviously feeling quite comfortable in the situation. They probably don't even realize that they're poor or that their home is really basically falling apart. The other painting, Home on the Water, reflects... Uh, some houseboats. Of course, right now, there's nobody in them, but they do look comfortable. That's Home is, to me, a safe and comfortable environment. In my own home, I have two cats, which makes it kind of interesting. They're my buddies, and I feel quite safe and relaxed in my own home, and that's exactly what you should feel.
My name is Summer Husseini, and I live and work in West Orange, New Jersey. I am first-generation Palestinian-American and the daughter of a refugee and an immigrant who came here to the United States in the late 1960s. So home to me is really about remembering the beauty of one's ancestral land, of their food, of their culture, and, and traditions. When I created Homeland, I wanted to share those memories of, of my home, and I wanted it to be designed in an abstract landscape. So I used mixed media and stitching in different layers to show that tension and the flow and the visual harmony and also mending in a metaphorical way. Enduring Thread is a abstract representation of a Palestinian tobe, which is a dress that that is made by women uh, using hand embroidered cross stitch to represent the villages and towns that they come from. And I wanted to layer those traditional cross stitch embroidered patterns with my own abstracted design to show a personal narrative and also to honor my culture and my home. Hi, my name is Linda Johns and I live in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Home means to me hide and go seek, making snow angels in the backyard and riding our bikes through the neighborhood playing who's it. But it also means growing up to become a homeowner and watching little ones follow in your footsteps, enjoying the same games. That's what home means to me. Hi, I'm Maya, just Maya. Uh, home for me has always meant a journey to feel like I belong. They say home is where the heart is, but sometimes the biggest challenge is feeling at home in your own heart. That can require a lot of personal transformation. The butterfly in my painting and print is a symbol of that transformation. The butterfly is also a symbol for migration and renewal, hope. When we come from the heart, we find the resilience and the strength that we need to overcome any obstacles on our journey to find home, whether they're the walls we build inside or social or political border walls that are meant to divide us. The power of love and unity will always bring us home. Home. My name is Virginia Carroll. I'm from Plainfield. And um, home means to me a place of security and comfort and, and beauty. And um, the piece that I did for this show um, reflects the Syrian refugees who have lost their homes um, through such tragedy and they're seeking a new home. Uh, this piece is woven. I like to do uh, woven paper to indicate how people are woven into their environment. And um, I have not um, done anything specifically for the home uh, theme, but this one seemed to fit uh, due to the loss of home. My name is Joe Ren. I'm living in Madison, South Dakota. Home to me means balance. This balance is not about life purpose. It's also the between the human and the nature. My work named Build is inspired by a thousand years history of Chinese character. I use the ideas and the creation of this Chinese character to deliver the tension between human nature. I want to emphasize the notion of greedy, waste, arrogant, and desire in our modern life. Miscommunication and fantasy are excuses in our reality. I want to question the relationship between what we see 
and what we want to believe, between what is and what we create for ourselves. I want to bring out those questions to let us think about the world we live in, and the post-modern culture experience about duality and the dot of reality itself. My name is Linda Vonderschmidt Lestella. My concept of home is one that always incorporates the sense of a sacred space. There is, of course, a spiritual component, and you know, something mythic and mystic about it, and that relates really directly to the piece of sculpture entitled "Home Temple Spring." It's part of a series of home temples that I've done, many of them related to a season. Here with spring, we're surrounded by nature, the burgeoning trees. And the presence of the snake, with the entire piece resting on that snake, the snake itself being symbolic, of course, of both masculine and feminine elements. In the Orabora manner, the sense of no beginning and no end, a kind of eternal image, and then the sense of resurrection, in that it sloughs its skin periodically and comes forth as something new. Um, home, I see as something that has a presence of fire, the warmth, the fire of passion, and so the fire element is at the heart of this, in the center, and then the water flowing in those twisted, thin elements that form a kind of canopy over the whole central portion. Hi, my name is Leslie Nobler, and I live in Little Falls, New Jersey. Although I sort of more identify with the Montclair area,、um, home to me means a safe, secure, accepting place to live, and I guess be part of a community. And that's what I try to bring out in the artworks. So each of these, one reflects it's a diptych, and one reflects on the U.S. because it talks about the. First batch of people that came over from Europe and how they settled here. The,、um, I guess the Europeans and they became eventually became colonists and then they went and colonized Africa and brought a lot of African Americans over, basically against their will to become slaves. So they are superimposed upon each other. And then the next se-、uh, set of superimpositions in the second half of the diptych reflects on my own ancestors and I was able to find images、uh, of. One、uh, kitchen remnant that came out of a Jewish home in Russia, and、um, I superimposed that after doing some digital adjustments and repaintings on my own to a really sad photograph that I located at the, I think it's called the Museum of Jewish Heritage in New York City of a little boy from Hungary who was displaced during the Second World War and had no more home. And、uh, I tied this into the idea that he had no more parents, no more home, and if you have no homeland, no home, which is sort of what happened with all these different populations,、um, that's what I'm reflecting on in these works here. I've started focusing on the idea of acceptance and tolerance of other people in our own country and the general、um, developed world. And it came to the fore when we had all the problems with the stuff going on with the Trump administration and trying to not allow a single immigrant into our country from countries he didn't approve of. And it's just such a prevalent issue right now that I couldn't not react. My name is Ian Twingwing, and I share my time between Tucson, Arizona, in the USA. And Yangcheng City, Vietnam. Home to me means the smells of fish sauce in my food, the sounds of my baby girl babbling mixed with the honky noise from streets of Vietnam. It is a taste of salt carried by the wind in the air, a place where I can see my mom, my dad, my brother, my two sisters, my husband, and my baby girl all hands in hands, a place that calms my mind yet so far to reach that aches my heart. Using my Vietnamese history and my experiences as an immigrant at resources, my work investigates personal and cultural identities. 
My ongoing concern addressed the complicated relationship of family origin, ethnic background, cultural rituals and symbols expression, visual manifestation of gain and loss. A due attention of the impossibility of full assimilation in a new land and the difficulty of returning and reintegrating in one's old culture gives me idea for the Bow Journey project. It is a photographic project which focuses on a quest for a place where we immigrants seek to belong. A figure dressed in, in traditional Vietnamese tunic pan, Ao Yai, holds onto a small makeshift leather boat. This boat is a ticket, a passport to an escapade. However, it gets stuck on the land, can never be set free. My name is Evan Stewart Marshall, and I live in Roseland, New Jersey. Home to me means a place where you feel safe and comfortable, and there are people you love and who love you. Um, what brought about this particular painting is a memory of moving to New York City when I was 22 years old, and my poor mother crying in the back of a cab, looking back at me as she drove off in the rain. And it was very sad, and I got, it got me to thinking about people who have to leave home. I didn't have to. I moved for my career. But people who leave home, the, your surroundings take on a new uh, atmosphere from your mood. So I was thinking of leaving the shore and the water looks dark and, and foreboding and you look back at the shore and there's your home and it looks different because you're leaving it. So really I was trying to evoke feelings of, of sadness and um, losing the people you love when you leave home. My name is Miriam Stern, and I live in Teaneck, New Jersey. Home to me means family. And um, most families, if not all families, have stories, myths, legends, and secrets. And my painting here um, has um, something in the back, an object that's covered with a, a tarp, in this case, a, a piece of brown paper tied in string. And what is spilling out from underneath are these abstract shapes. They represent the secrets that families have that come spilling out, whether we like it or not. It's very hard to hold on to secrets, but families try. So they're trying, in this case, to tie it up with a nice little string um, into a neat bow, but it's impossible. As an example of a secret in my family, um, there is a history of mental illness, and when I was a child, this was a verboten thing to talk about. My name is Kate Hamilton, and I live in New Paltz, New York. Home, to me, means a feeling a feeling of safety and it's a very simple childish feeling because the world is very complicated but what I know is that everybody wants a place where they will feel safe and sometimes they call that home I made houses that are all fragile they're made out of scraps of paper I sewed them together like a child would sew a toy I can stack them. They're all the same shape, but they're different sizes, and they nest into each other, each going into their own little home. And together they make a village, all different. Everybody's different ideas of what they want home to be. Yeah, I guess that's it. Hi, my name is Joe LaMatina, and I live in Hackensack, New Jersey, and I've been a member of SMI for about, I guess, three or four years now. When I first saw the uh, advertisement for the, uh, sh for the show, I immediately thought um, of the physical space, of my, my own home or a home or an apartment. And then as I, began to as I began to think more about it, 
I kind of thought, well, that, that's the physical space of it. But now what home really means to me is by taking that space and transforming it into more of a, into more of a home by uh, whether your aesthetics or the love that you bring into it or whatever makes your house feel like a home. So when I, when I read the requirements uh, for the submission, um, I immediately went through my portfolio and uh, found about four or five or six or pieces that kind of fit into the theme. And they were, when I was picking them, I kind of thought I was doing it. You know, I, some of them were based on food because I kind of associated food with home, with uh, protection, um, uh, love. And you know those are very intricate, intricate you know, vibes, and uh, so I, I kind of selected this. Well, they selected the jury, I guess, selected this piece, which is kind of a mix of all that, like love. You know, it's, the per it's personal for me, and then there was breakfast in there, and it was just sort of a, a kind of a peaceful Zen feeling to me. My name is Amy Tingle and I currently live in a car towing an 11-foot caravan. Home to me means being comfortable in your own skin. It took me 40 years to feel like I was at home in my body and in the skin I was born in. When I was 40, I came out to my husband and my children and currently live with my wife, Maya. It was the first time that I felt the weight lifted off my shoulders of not feeling at home inside my body as who I truly was. So it was momentous and breathtaking. And I've continued to live out loud and at home in my skin since then. And that's no small thing for anyone. It relates to my piece of art because I've been exploring home. Uh, Maya and I are currently traveling. We sold our home in New Jersey and we've been on the road since August of 2019, uh, searching for our new home, the house or the town or the place that we both feel comfortable, that we wanna live together but I've been exploring the idea of home in my artwork as we've been traveling and creating collages on the cardboard boxes that we've been carrying some of our things in. Most of them relate to bodies and body parts, and I've been mixing and matching male and female, sort of in an exploration of how we come to feeling at home in the body we're born into and how we find home as a place. My name is Laura Fenner-Muller and I live in Jersey City, New Jersey. Home to me means the place where everything always feels very familiar, faces, places, and where the smell of certain foods in the ocean brings back childhood memories and all the traditions of the culture I grew up in. This is a place in the Netherlands where I was born and raised and uh, lived for the first 33 years of my life before I moved to the United States uh, where I spent the next 33 years of my life. The two oil pastel drawings in the show are women in a traditional costumes a tradition that still existed 50 years ago, but now has completely disappeared. And my grandmother uh, was one of them. She was also dressed in a traditional costume. So these drawings are an homage to her and this beautiful tradition. Uh, my name is Howard Berelson, and I'm a member of the gallery, and um, my wife and I live in Teaneck, New Jersey, which is not too far from here. Well, I don't remember the theme. It's about home. Well, home is memory. Home is what we remember about uh, growing up, about the home we had. Um, home is the home we create because we didn't have the home we wanted when we were younger, or the home we choose to have um, as we grow older. And home of photographs on the wall which is what my poem is about um, about memory 
or the garden that we create every spring. That is what home is. You will see <laughs> you will see a poem that is uh, wrapped around an illustration. What is illustrated is a portion of that poem about, uh, when my cousin visited, and she, when we were talking. She was talking about her family that was in Lithuania, and the Cossacks came and they said, um, "We love that samovar you have." So it's the samovar or your lives. So they gave up the samovar, and they emigrated to the United States shortly thereafter. Hi, my name is Evgenia Klimenka. I'm from Ukraine, city of Odessa. What home means for me? Home is an imaginary picture in my head. Turns out as my favorite smells, my emotions, and my memories. It's a feeling of safety. I live near the sea, and I cannot imagine my home without it. Yes, it's wintry. It's cold and foggy, because warm and sunny is not home anymore. It's the place where you usually go for winter break with your family. It's always old backyards. Back in my childhood, we used to dry our clothes on ropes, and all the kids, of course, ran around the way, the white sheets, played with the ball, and ride the bike. I can still smell those clean sheets and hear the neighbor screams. That's exactly what home is. It's all about memories. It's about my granny. It's how I remember my childhood. All those grapes grew around the house and my favorite turtle doves. In my drawing, you can always see the house, the sea, my cats, and my dog, of course. I often draw my hometown, my favorite secret spots. You can't run away from that. It will stay inside me forever. That's why when you're planning to throw a shadow of a cat in the artwork, is going to be the cat from your childhood, the exact one you remembered. My name is Louise Wheeler. Um, I live in New Providence, New Jersey, although I, our whole family is very international. Um, my mother lives in Sweden, my sisters live in Sweden, my husband is from India. Home is a lot of different places, and basically I think of home as wherever you're we're hanging out with our family. Okay, so um, Memories of Alibog number two is part of a series that I started about a year ago. Um, my husband's from India, so we were visiting family in India, and his cousin is an architect, and his wife is a designer. So we went to visit them at their summer, well, their vacation home, which is custom-built according to his designs, and she's done all the decorations inside. So I... I enjoy just walking around their house and, and looking at all the beautiful things that they've designed and they've collected over the years. And one thing that's new is this wall that is made entirely of blocks used for block prints. Um, he must have gotten it from some designer chic thing because it's just incredible. And the lighting from above creates these shadows and textures that really appeal to me as a clay artist. So I made a series um, of wall art with tiles that are made out of clay, and uh, they all feature textiles, lace, stamps, and I use a couple of different glazing techniques to highlight the variations. And it's all in a dark, natural color, just like the dark um, blocks used for block printing. Hello, my name is Peter Allen, and I live in... Harding Township, New Jersey. My piece called The Country Couple is a welded found steel object sculpture that goes back about three, four years, and it represents my feeling that people accumulate their objects in their home and they see the home as the safe place for keeping those things and then every once in a while they get to uh, share them. I was biking in the Great Swamp and found a family that was selling all their things from their house and they were in their 80s and 90s. The man was content to uh, share with me the objects that he had 
thrown into a pile. And uh, I went back and p- purchased them with the intent to uh, someday use them like he had intended. So I welded them into this couple that it's the my representation of the fact that we um, kind of run out of time. And yet we do have this home that does hold together all the objects and things in a safe environment.
This is Heather Carter from Carter Fine Arts Services, and I'm thrilled to partner with Mary Z again and co-curate this wonderful show, The Place Called Home. The concept and meaning of home is a very timely topic. For many, it is a place of comfort, peace, and happiness and security. For others, it's the polar opposite, a place of threat, danger, 